First of all, congratulations on adding more acting credits to your resume. Thank you. However, Jasmine girl, Miss Thong wearing Jasmine. Hey. Well, <laughs> tell that's, me that's about Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine is just, she's just a small town girl with like big city dreams, you know, she's from Birmingham, Alabama, she works in a store, she meets someone, she falls a little, she moves a little fast, mm -hmm. um, Easy. yeah, yeah, she lives My in the fast lane, me. and uh, you're kind of fast, I like <laughs> um, but she's got a, a, a certain way of going about what it is she wants, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I mean, you can't be mad even though, Carrie's not like that, but I, I can't be mad at Jasmine yeah. for, for having methods and, and not knowing, you know, she she was unaware. She's an incidental homewrecker. Incidental. Incidental yeah. homewrecker. See, guys, even if she had asked the questions, he probably would have lied because yeah, it's Lonnie we're definitely. talking about, most right? Definitely. Most definitely. So. <laughs> well, you're saying you like them fast. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, Monique, <laughs> Aunt May, mm -hmm. kept giving you the... <laughs> That's that's what the family saw. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what I'm oh. We, we ain't gonna tell you what the family did say. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> but now, <laughs> so tell, but tell me about your one-sided relationship. Mm. It's, we... <laughs> it's, it's 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 normal. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a cougar type man in real life. You know, <laughs> in our own play. But it was it was it was fun, man. Just to bounce off each other, comedic geniuses. You know what I'm saying? And and for her to. Her brother trust my judgment, you know what I'm saying, and let me do my thing, and then she do her thing. It was just a blessing all the way around. Right, mm -hmm. good. It had to be fun. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. So after Jasmine disrupts Christmas dinner, things get really, really messy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Tell me about just how fun shooting the chaos of that scene was like. A lot of fun. A lot uh, of fun. When, when, when the, I don't want to tell the movie, I mean, I, I, I just, I just say when, when, it, when, when it was break time, it took about thirty minutes to set all up over. You yeah, know, you know? yeah. Oh my God, we had to break so long. Yeah. But when they called action and we all got to like scatter, mm -hmm. <laughs> like roaches, get the hell on. Um, that was so much fun. It was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you know, th almost Christmas has the elements of a great holiday film. Ensemble cast, heart, soul, some loss, yeah. some comedy, yeah. and some great food. You know, the yes. food was almost its own character. Oh, it was. Yes. At its core, though, what is it that you want the audiences to walk away with? And why do you think it is relatable to a wide range of audiences? I just want them to walk away with, with family always come first. And you want to always put your differences to the side because in this movie, you're going to see a lot of things that normally that our grudges ain't really got nothing compared, it can't even compare to the grudges that was being displayed in the movie, you know what I'm saying? And for them to put that to the side and still show and give, I think we can, we, we should be able to do the same. Yeah. And why do you think it's relatable to a wide audience, Karen? I think this film is relatable to a wide audience because nobody's family is perfect. We all have this perfect idea of what the holiday season means. Coming together for Christmas is gonna go smoothly, without a hitch, never the case. So I, I think everyone can relate to the drama. Maybe not this much drama, but everyone, every family has their own level of, whether it's spoken or unspoken, mm -hmm. everybody has drama. And then my last question, Aunt May. Why do you think everyone is going to love? Because the theater erupted yes. every time Aunt May hit the screen. Every she's time she's, even if she didn't speak, but you're right. Like, even when they just show her, there's, there's, there's comedy in her. She's the queen of comedy. Silence. And just the movie yeah. that show, the queen of comedy is back, baby. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Because she played a lot of serious roles, which was phenomenal. Yeah. But now you get to see her on stage in the movie. Yeah, the queen of comedy is back, baby. She sure is. Mm -hmm.